I hear everybody going, go, go, go. And I was like, no, there ain't no way. Kyle Ginn had spent his entire senior season in the dugout with a torn ACL. But with his team up 8 nothing in the state championship game, he got one last at bat as a charger. A home run worthy of the leadoff spot on SportsCenter. Go ahead, Kyle. Have yourself a moment for the Covington Chargers. Two-way baseball in Tennessee. Get off me, ball! That was just a punctuation to the end of the whole story. To truly understand how much that home run, how much that state championship meant to this team, you have to go back 91 days before the moment. Back to the day where everything changed for their head coach. February 22nd was the day that um, I went in what was supposed to be for an appendectomy, and uh, it turned into a little bit more than that. Brad Wormuth had just finished his first two weeks as Covington's varsity baseball coach. His oldest son, Ty, a senior pitcher and U of M signee. It was kind of cool that I'd be able to play with him one last year. During Brad's appendectomy, doctors found a mass, benign, but they'd need to remove part of his colon. When they sewed me back up, they didn't realize I had two holes in my colon, in which led me to become septic. A week in the hospital turned into months, and then the unimaginable. She was in the hospital with him, with him and she started getting lightheaded and dizzy. The next thing you know, to find out that his, his mom has brain cancer. You wonder why it happened. Um, but then you just, you just got to understand that we don't dictate what happens. There's, Unwavering was the support of his team and the Covington community. We had a prayer uh, night for me and my wife. And about 500 people showed up. It was really special. While Brad and his wife Paige fought, the Covington baseball team surged all the way into the postseason. We didn't think we were going to have him, and then we got in the district tournament, and he's in the dugout, and we're like, okay, Coach Warmuth. There was no way I was going to miss it. Which brings us back to May 21st, the day of the state championship game. Brad's doctor had wanted to do surgery that day. I just kind of giggled, and I told her, I said, I can't do it then. Brad and Paige both made the trip to Murfreesboro to watch their son and their team. Uh, <laughs> I can't describe it, honestly. Uh, having both of them there, bringing the championship home to this community, this town, my parents, for us to be able to go and do that with what we were given this year. They don't realize how much they mean to you. Being able to be around the kids is, is therapy. Just knowing that eventually I was gonna be able to get back around them, uh, that, that kind of propelled me through. An improbable home run got the Chargers on SportsCenter. But it's the unquestionable bond between a coach, his son, and their team that got them all through this season. In Covington, Jessica Benson, Local 24 Sports.